Hello. It is time to murder. On my screen, a dancing Sagando and boobs. Hello, Sagando. How is it going? I see your weapon is much higher level now. Hello, Krimi. Hello, Mace. Obviously, hello, Sagando. How are you all doing? Pleasure to see you. <sighs> Gravios is my first victim today. I need a water weapon. I need a water weapon. I'm going to do a little bit of farming. I'm going to farm for a little bit. I'm thinking maybe about two hours farming and then two hours of just smashing my head into a wall. <laughs> In order to do exotics. What levels of my weapons? Oh god, let me cancel the quest. I know that this water weapon is level 48. Other than that, I don't remember. Thirty-five, forty-eight, thirty-four, forty-two, twenty-four. Forty-eight, it sounds hellish. Yeah, they go up to level fifty. <laughs> so close? It is close. It is... Hello, sir. I don't need hard drinks. He doesn't go inside the cave. You need to upgrade a weapon 50 times? Yes. Mace. Yes, you do. Every single normal G rank weapon upgrades 50 times. Technically, you need to upgrade it 49 times, I believe. Actually, that's not true. Some of the weapons have an additional 50 levels. <laughs> I tell a lie. Some weapons have 100 levels. Hey, Ramhards. How you doing? Feeling any better today? Pleasure to see. How do people like this, man? I mean, that's only G rank. The rest of the weapons upgrade like normal monster weapons. Just with ridiculous requirements. Usually. Although that's less bad with this patch on. To even build the exotic weapons in in high rank are ridiculous. In skill rank. You could have finished the Xenoblade trilogy by the time you fully upgraded. It's like, probably not. You could upgrade a weapon quicker than you could finish the Xenoblade trilogy. How am I with CRPGs? Eh. They tend to be too long. I love them in concept. But in practice, I think they're just ridiculously too long. Chinese RPGs? No, it's um... It's a really shitty term. It's computer RPGs. Baldur's Gate 3. Um... What's that other game called? You did do it! That was what my inkling was! <laughs> hey, well done, Sugando. Well done. Well friggin' done. <laughs> I will PM you after this quest. What does that do? That's the point. I will PM you after this quest. Would you prefer I do it on 
Twitch or on... Um, what's the other thing called? Discord. Discord is easier for myself, but obviously, what's easier for you? Discord, Discord, cool. Discord it will be. And also, please give me a letter of your choice that is not a C or an E. And I will also grant you your VIP. Because that one is very easy to do. VIP, it just gives you a badge next to your name. It's fucking worthless. The letter G, how appropriate for Segundo slash Gianni. Very on brand. <laughs> I like it. None have chosen to reveal it, yes. Everyone has kept my wish. Oh no, is the alert not working? Did the pop up not happen? I can see that in my thing, but it hasn't popped up on screen. It is working. Weird. Weird. You have an assumption you will see shortly if you're right, yep. We shall see. Thank you very much. Sagando, I appreciate it. Thank you as well, Ramhard. See as I'm into combat games, let's play another Crab's Treasure at some point. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Another Crab's Treasure is the, the Crabby Souls-like, right? I'm, I'm really sorry that didn't come up on the stream. I don't know why. It is? I appreciate it. Thank you kindly. That game looks cute as fuck, so I'm very happy. More than willing to appease you on that one. Is that going to be Pathfinder? It can go on for a long time, yeah. I, I don't necessarily, like, the length in of itself isn't necessarily the problem with CRPGs. I just find that they... They... <laughs> Maybe let a lot of their cats out before they should. And then the promise of leveling up very seldomly is not really enough to keep me interested a lot of the time. They are good, but... It could be better. <laughs> Meow. Meow. I love kitty cats. Ah, uh, that game's cute. I'm happy. Of the two choices, I think you chose the right one, personally. <laughs> Frontier players make you tremble in fear. Do you remember, Mace? This, I, I have quit this game twice. You may recall, the first one was the sheer depression of Supremacy Teostra. The second one was the sheer amount of farming in G-Rank. 
Not even anything in particular that I didn't think was like a hard fight or anything like that. I quit because the farming was too much. Fear me? <laughs> yeah, you should fear Crimson. Crimson not in particular. For the fact that they have farmed every single drop in the entire game. Bar like three or something. In every rank. All four of the ranks. Every drop. Organically. I believe you've even done that for the G-Rank Hardcores, right? The 2% that they are. You had a couple of other ones you were thinking of? Oh, yeah? Cool. Only G? Oh, I thought you did it for everything. Still terrifying for G-Rank. This G-Rank is where it's at its worst. G's the worst, yeah, G's the worst by a long shot. By a long shot. Hello, Dance with Rain, welcome. Hello, Bane. How are you both doing? Hope you're both doing good. You don't care for the Godfather? It insists upon itself. What does that mean, babe? That's what I need. That's the drop I need. The Supreme Bones. What's way too big for this map? Gravios? It was here in, in the PSP versions as well. And in DOS. It's not like Frontier even called this madness. This is just... Old school madness. Right, let me on the stream sheet, because that one is easier for me to forget to do. And number seven. Another crab's treasure. I assume the goal is just to complete the story. It is? Cool. Only seven games? What do you mean, only? Already seven games. That's crazy. That's a lot of games. Or Helldivers. That's fair, mate. It's not for everyone. Frontiers grinding is not for everyone. <laughs> oh, way it out. <laughs> the funny thing is, I'm pretty sure this is with the patch that makes it not as bad as well. <laughs> I don't know how much that affects G rank, but I know it affects elite rank a lot. It's the, the patch that affects grinding isn't even Seth's patch, isn't it someone else's? Or am I mistaken on that one? Is it also Seth that does that patch? Grabbing a ball round hard, trying to collect a lot of the blue stuff for no reason. Have yet to get a purple outside of the shield that everyone... Mm. It is Seth? Oh, cool. Did Seth does so much for this game? That's wild. What a legend.
Yeah, I haven't seen a purple drop ram hard outside of that shield yet. I have also not seen one. They're legendaries. What level are you on that character at the moment, Ramhard? I don't even want to think about the Zenith grind dance. It scares me because I'm actually kind of close now, right? I'm on the border. I am on the cusp of the Zenith grind. I gotta get through legend rank and that's it. The drop rate on legendaries is low on normal and veteran. I assume it is higher on veteran than it is on normal. Normal, normal. You think, but you're not sure. That's fair. We get any? Yeah. Level 35? Oh my god. Well done. Without dying a single time. Holy shit. Good job. Okay, the drop I need from Mido now is a main, I believe. Memory serves. Let's do your daily. Oh, what, the bounty system? thing that Rain has. Why is Zenoga red? This isn't Zenoga. This is Midagarin. And also, Edgy Zenoga is red, though. That's that's Stygian Zenoga. <laughs> Edgy Zenoga's in mainline. He's also in this game, actually. I have I have access to Edgy Zenoga at the moment, I believe. Horrifyingly. Cousins? Uh, no, they're both fanged beasts, though, I think, or whatever the category is. No. Zenoga's a fanged wyvern, I think. This guy's a fanged beast. Purifier seems fun. It's simple to use because it has a good heal. A good heal is very important. A more close thing to think of this guy as is um, Odo, Odegaran from Worlds. Uh, 
there is a relatively reasonable argument to be made that Frontier is the reason why monsters like that exist, because Frontier has uh, Camu, Odegaron, no, no, Odegaron, and Mido, whatever the hell they're called. Ludogaran, yeah. Yeah, there's one in um thingy as well. I'd say they're more dog than wolf. Zanoga's more wolf. These guys are more dog, I guess. Wait till you see how puppy Zenith is. I'm gonna need either your or someone else's help with the Zeniths because I don't want to look at their weaknesses, but I still want to know their weaknesses. Because if you look on a fairy ass, it comes up with a picture of the monster in the top right and it shows you what it looks like. And I didn't realize until I raided Banes the other day that the um, the Zeniths look significantly different. Because I saw Zenith. Odegaron. Midagaron, sorry. And it looks very different. I didn't really take a lot of like detail in. I was just like, hmm, that thing is a different color. <laughs> That's kind of big. <laughs> Actually got it. Nice. It didn't freeze him, it just knocked him out of state. That's weird. I got kind of robbed there, I think. A little bit. I was in an uninterruptible. He must have just started it, because I didn't even realize he was in one. I thought he was just turning. I honestly think Frontier maybe milked um, extra forms enough. I don't think an additional two Primordials would have helped with them milking extra forms in that game. Frontier? Um, Rise, sorry. Not Frontier. I got the damage, yeah. At least I hit it. Hey, Lux. Hey, Dan. Would have lessened the impact as well of Primordial Malzino if there was Primordial other two, also. That would not have hit me if he had a space to keep going. It's because he hit the wall that it did.
That one I just did bad. Bad row. Head's broken, which is the most important thing for this hunt. Because I need mains. Tail's also broken. Just to get some tendons. How many row points do I have? 2,000. They are being saved to buy Legend and um, Zenith tickets with. So that I don't just have to spam Miru hunts and... A Garuba slash Elzelion. Since potentially someone was saying that Garuba also gives tickets. Not a lot. Not a lot. Just a measly 2,000. Garuba gives old ones that aren't used. Oh, that's what I'm saying. <sighs> well, they go after Meadow, Espinas. Okay. I'm not expecting to honestly get too much out of just two hours of farming. Yeah. 10k road points, you can get really strong G weapons. I don't think I'm getting to 10k anytime soon. My desire to play road kind of got obliterated. When I realized how badly you need vampirism to get anywhere in it. And then I just don't have vampirism on my set. to level 10 was really fun with with you Sagano and Human Harvest though that was a really good time I had a ton of fun with that that was super enjoyable I always find the leech and then I'll have it but I'll have a terrible set Remhard Like, full sets in Frontier just suck. They're just not playable. Unless they're really, really busted sets. And that, that one isn't. That one isn't. Oh, I should have brought some pickaxes. You see road being spoken? <laughs> well, that goes my farming. <laughs> Rip farming. <laughs> Hello, Mike. How are you? <laughs> Thank you for the points. Oh, I need to message the guy, though. I completely forgot. Message. Oh, 
I need to I need to add Sagando as a friend first. Whoopsie. Road being the same redeemer's request doesn't seem fair. That's true, actually. I think I did say before that Road was the 1200 one. The expensive one. I've already eaten your points, though, so if you give me, like... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to remedy that. I'm sorry! Is there a different quest you want, Mike? I can do that instead. Okay, let me just, uh... Let me just find the thing. That I sent to Ayn. When Ayn redeemed it. Did me and Ayn send each other these many messages? What the fuck? Oh my god, it doesn't end! It just keeps scrolling. Ah! Oh, that was a long message for me. No, that's not the right one. It's just all the darkest dungeon. There's so much darkest dungeon in here. Right, there we go. That's it? I could have just typed that out myself. Fucking... <laughs> Okay, message sent to Sagando. In mod view, there should be a point. Is for a point option you can refund from there? I don't know. Why don't worry? I don't think there is, unfortunately. And then I also need to go into here. And then this. Let me just do this real quick for one second. I'm obviously still here, but the thing I need to open is on my left monitor, and it would spoil stuff. <laughs> okay, go into manage, go into the one milli redeem, and Sagando pick a G. Go to reveal the G's, correct.
that's an unfortunate that's an unfortunate choice i'm not gonna lie <laughs> Hey, Falco. Yep, that's it. There is very, very few G's in there. How many G's? There is one two four that's it g doesn't work it works there's just not many of them okay there we go my secrets are safe again hidden away i have sent it to you sagano I obviously, as I have mentioned before, would prefer if you keep it a secret so that it may be done more in the future without stuff being given away. You do not have to respond. You have time to think, ruminate. Also... Technically fucks with this shit so much. Holy fuck, Sagando. Wait a second. Wait a second. You've just messed with everything. <laughs> I need to put this back on all the screens. <laughs> <laughs> I need to put this back everywhere now. How much extra time? Oh! No, I didn't even consider that! <laughs> 2.5 million is what the second goal was. This is at least on 800,000. So we're on like 1,800,000. 1,800,000 and then uh, I'm just going to put this at a flat 500 points. Because that might actually happen now. That's not impossible. It was looking impossible. That's now not impossible. If 10 minutes is 10,000 points is 5 minutes, 100,000 points is 50 minutes. Which would mean a million is 500 minutes. Which is 8 hours and something. My brain turned off halfway through. I missed a zero, did I? Where? At what point? Eight hours and 33 recurring, is it? Okay, so this goes up to 41 hours. Uh, 42 hours. Five hours. Five minutes is 10,000 points. So 100,000 would be 50, right? Meta cruel? No, 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 no. I'm trying to do the math for this. I understand the confusion there, though. And then this goes to zero. I'm just going to round this up to six. This is really pissing me off. <laughs> six minutes. There we go. 
Oh, and then I also technically ate poor Mike's points. So this now needs to go to this. And then this needs to go to this. There we go. I didn't think that one was going to be possible. Well done, Sagando. Well done. Perfectly timed. Perfectly. Of all the bumps. Nailed it. Absolutely nailed it. <clears throat> I didn't even look at my rewards. I was so exploded. The power cable and someone's docking station apparently fell out. They've been waiting for someone to fix it since Monday. Did it just need to be plugged back in? I did not get the meadow made. Okay. It did indeed just need to be plugged in. Amazing. It's exactly what you want. Please don't tell me this is one of the people working at the textile. Thank you for that help, Ramhard. My brain just gave up. Ruko, oh. I'll do it after this quest, Krivi. Also, why do you do this to me? <laughs> why, Krivi, why? This was a teacher? Okay. Much less bad than someone at the workplace. I really hope this Crimson Fatalis is feeling kind today. And gives me the red stone. Because man would it be nice. I can't remember what I need to break. I think it's the head, the tail, and then calves. It's definitely in calves. It's in shiny drops. It is in the tail curve as well. It's a 5% actually in the tail curve. Man, it's not as good as the high rank. Or the elite rank music. I still like the ancient forest. The great forest, whatever this bloody place is called. No idea as good as the... The, the, the adept rank one. What is now literally Espanas' theme.
The horn does not give it to me, it's just the tail break. Okay, in terms of breaks, all I need is a tail. So well timed. Fucking nailed it. Ugh. I really didn't think that hit me. Espinas Fawn, huh? A 1% on shinies. A 3% on carves. A 5% on the tail. Why well timed? To just take advantage of like so many different things on it. The points count towards the timer as well. It in of itself is just good, right? But it also means that the the secondary points goal is actually possible now. And the secondary points goal, I think, is to add like either another another one game to the freebie list. Give me an extra day of streaming is funny. Yeah, exactly. An entire work day of streaming just. Instantly. That was actually a pretty good click for my left hand. It wasn't terrible. You didn't think they would go in? Even if you did it, it's still good. You can't snap your fingers. I can do... I can do this one, but it's really bad. This one, I've... I've got it. <laughs> My dominant hand has got it. Two percent on quest as well. Oh, okay, cool. Can't snap at all. Difficult if you don't know how. It's basically just like friction, right? The three percent are always two percent on quest. Okay, great. That's good to know. Thank you. Hey, I'm welcome. It makes no sappy click. Weird. You're pretty sure I will quote you till my death, Grimmy. <laughs> Good. Well, that tail sucks to hit right now, so I'm just going to go for the heads. Oh, head's broken. Over the wing. There's my tail cut. Thank you. An expected drop.
never going to complain about having more of the G gems, to be honest. Well, I am, because I want my rares, but it's always good. Always good. Guess you'll just have to kill me, Krimi, no! Is that a little whooper? It is. All of Nemu's emotes are little whoopers and stuff. You're jelly now? Why are you jelly, Mace? <laughs> Every fucking time, Krimi. The snappy finger, for what it's worth, it hurts like fuck. You have to put some, like, force into it. Bum, bum, bum. Capture rewards any better? They meant they're a 4% instead of a 3%. But whenever it's a 1% difference, I always prefer to go with calves. Because you're guaranteed free calves, potentially more, depending on the monster. Whereas with capture, you only get two. Maybe a third, if you're lucky. There it is. <laughs> there it is. Okay. But yeah. I I think for my own sake, I prefer three guaranteed. Three guaranteed three percents, then two guaranteed fours, and then like a 50-50 of another four or whatever it is. I don't know the math. Capture is generally worthless in G-Rank. Oh, really? Just had to uh, conspire with my newest compatriot. <laughs> well, I don't need Espinas open anymore. And I think that's all the stuff I needed for that upgrade as well. I think it's even this weapon, maybe. Give me a better ice weapon. Yes. Oh, it's a hardcore drop? Oh no, don't. Not, oh no, not the hardcore. Oh, whoops, I slipped and bought it. Yiji and Nono. Always the fucking tails. Always the tails. Yiji. And no. no. Yiji should be at the front. That's very convenient. And no, no, should be there because it's water. 
What would you say, Krimi, is the best weakness for Meadow? For, for, not for Meadow, sorry, for... <sighs> Ruko. Because I'm so torn on what to use against Ruko constantly. Dragon is obviously useless in the second half. Like, basically for half the fight. But, I just, I don't know... If I should use ice or water. Ice is better in its magnet. Water's better just overall. Ice has a better art. And ice does a lot better on the head. I have better sharpness on my ice. But less raw. Probably the ice for. Ice? Right. Okie dokie, thank you all. I could never make up my mind. I was just using a different weapon every time I thought it. <laughs> just like constantly. <laughs> switching all over the place. Roko Diora. Okay. That's twice I've been got good this month by people who didn't mean to get me good. Twice in one month. Uh, 2,500 is what? It's 1 minute 25, yeah. What was the first time? <laughs> Apparently I have gained a lisp. Uh, when Ramhard redeemed Monster Rise. Rise and Sunbreak to be played on stream. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> Not intentional at all, but it's good. <sighs> Come on, you magnetic fuck. The game is included with the Switch emulators from Nintendo Online, do they technically have a cost of zero? You have to pay the entire cost of my NSO subscription. <laughs> Dude, I've, I've honestly never even considered free games. I really should have. Because then I could have given a good answer to this question. I never even considered that anyone would want to make me play a free game. Never even popped into me noggin. I mean, I guess. feels wrong. I don't know why it feels wrong. Some really good games on the old consoles, yeah. Like, um, like the Fire Emblem, for example. That I played. Blazing Blade? Blazing Sword? 
blazing sharp piece of metal used to impenetrate impenetrate the poke and slash that one Yeah, that one. Yeah, exactly. Two, three, four, five. all around abysmal. You know, I really wish that I was doing this fight tomorrow. If I was doing this fight tomorrow and I do win, I'd get way more rewards. <sighs> what if I can complete Dark Souls today? Killed by a fucking rock. Where's the where's the where's the max health button? There. I did not want to pop this transcendence. This is the only way I could get out of this. Am I playing Frontier tomorrow? Yeah, in the morning. It's in the first half of the stream. And then it's Iceborn multiplayer for the second half of the stream tomorrow. get that transcendence off but that's okay i'm glad i actually got some good damage in with it because i popped it purely out of panic and i thought that ruko was just going to immediately fly away because that's what normally happens Maybe you being in a down mood is not much you're passionate about this September as far as games are concerned. I and Krimi have colonized it. To be fair, not even all of the frontiers are crazy.
I do think for next year, I will make it a maximum of one game a slot, though. Not, no, sorry, two games. Two slots per game. Fuck me. Good job, Brain. So that Frontier doesn't have, like, half the week like it does at the moment. Or like it did at one point. I don't think it does anymore. There was a point where it was just all of the morning. Kind of blows. I mean, it blows for you. It's been great for me. I've been having a whale of a time. <laughs> Frontier and Grimdor has been fantastic for me. I've been having tons of fun. It's gonna happen sometimes, right? There's just gonna be times you don't enjoy. It's not just you, I'm sure, Mace. I miss Pikmin, I will admit. I do miss Pikmin. I was having fun with Pikmin. But I think Grimdorn will be a game I play in my own time. If I had any? Yes. I don't know if I would play much, to be honest. Because it requires a lot of time investment. And I just don't like preemptively investing that much time in something if I don't know I'm going to be able to commit to it, right? It's something I would play on, like, time off. If I knew I had a week off where I didn't have to do anything and I was just like at home the whole time. And I had the the desire to play it or I saw it in my library and be like, hmm. I feel like that's where it would be. You know? You're the only one vocal about it. <laughs> well. I'm vocal about a lot of things, please. How would you stream when it's your time off? <laughs> How we get to see Grim Dawn otherwise? <laughs> well, I would do a character that's not one of the ones on the stream. That I've enjoyed. Yeah, me too. Me too. It's a come and go type thing. Sometimes the lineup is going, other times not, yeah. I mean, for my own take at the moment, I think the lineup is pretty go to.
Maybe not Dark Souls 2. <laughs> In regards to your thing, I'm one, are you being serious? Because I never know with you. And two, I have an idea about that. Because I'm pretty sure something's gonna happen today. Which would mess with it. Oh god, I'm sorry. <laughs> the demons. The demons are escaping. I do so much to lock them in, they always try and get out. It's so rude. Go on then. Well, at this point, Thursday Friday is about to turn into Frontier Frontier. Because I'm going to complete Dark Souls 2 today in all likelihood. And then Frontier not only has the most slots, but it would be a double slot. Otherwise, the next technically available slot would be tomorrow morning. And I'm gonna be honest, from a personal perspective, I don't want to be waking up <laughs> at 9 o'clock in the morning to a Nuzlocke. <laughs> That's gonna break me. I'm gonna be like half asleep and like, oh, all of my Pokemon are dead. <laughs> The run will have no chance if I have to do it tomorrow morning. It will it will be dead before it begins. Sleepy Kyle is not good at games. Huggy, <laughs> why did you abandon us? What do you mean abandon you? I'm not abandoning anyone. Then do the something happening or whatever. Yep. Wait, 9 a.m. Yeah, the stream tomorrow starts at half nine in the morning for me. It's your dead Pokemon? No! None have died yet. Sadie's a 12 hour stream side. But I normally, I don't want to end at 10 o'clock at night because then I literally do not get to speak to my partner at all. And I don't want to start at 9 o'clock in the morning because that's going to wake people up. So half night is the compromise. Wow, see, you are bad. I haven't abandoned them. None of them have died. They're all still alive. They're not abandoned. They're thriving. I have technically abandoned them. Actually. But I was, I was made to abandon them. They were ripped from my hands. I did nothing wrong. And then do the something happening or whatever. Yeah, okay. So you were serious with it. The Nuzlocke is to return after Dark Souls 2 is complete. I never know. I never know. I. You spread chaos greater than I ever could. Good? What, good that I abandoned them? So heartless, face. Out. <laughs> I feel like you're enjoying your PlayStation a little bit more than you'd enjoy changing my schedule for a month. <laughs> uh.
especially if I and Kirby fumbled with it. What do you mean? It's for everyone to fiddle with. <laughs> He's gonna hold your hand so hard. You know what I enjoyed having me ditch the ascetic? That was mean. That was uncalled for. Forced me into Huntsman's Cops or whatever that place is called. I was desperately trying to avoid it. Huntsman's Cops isn't too bad, to be fair. You're at war. You can hold hands at war, nice. That's some people's favorite types of stories. Enemies to lovers, in fact. I nearly just said, although Krimi will never love you. <laughs> Which sounds so much more savage than I intended it. <laughs> It's true though, yeah. <laughs> uh. Platonic hand holding's the lunest kind. Later you did just ponder on having me beaten the Iron King guy. Yeah, that would have been... That would have been actually mean. The way you did it was genius. Having me ditch the ascetic was a wonderful use of it. Like, just straight up making me fight the Demon King would have been really boring. Screwing me out of my initial goal, but still giving me constraints with which to operate Ruin is ideal. Thank you, Rock. Enemies to lovers is a good one. Oh, is that a genre you enjoy, Mace? You know what's even better? Are you going to say Xenoblade? Fuck. I'm dead. You're so scared for me to go out over the next aesthetic is like I have no idea where any of them are. I'm... I'm so glad I stumbled across one by fucking accident. Is he no mind too? <laughs> Think you mentioned it to your fault. I thought that's where you were gonna go. Now the only reason, I that I even did Huntsman's Cops and went through all of whatever that other area is called that I did. Um, like Bright Cove, Seldora. It's because I don't know where the aesthetics are. I know where the infinite aesthetic farm is. But you don't unlock that until after the rotten, so. That one's not very helpful to me. I believe that's a full head break now. That is a full head break. Now I just need to win.
Although it should be somewhat close based on the fact that it's 20 minutes into the quest. tell you all your favorite genres because you don't even know them. <laughs> it's not even a genre, it's like a trope, is what I meant to say. But I could not tell you what I enjoyed either. I'm on the same page as you there, mate. <laughs> I did not expect to read that today. But you know the fight's finished too, because you know how much time has passed, yeah. I mean it usually takes it takes between twenty one and twenty six minutes for me to kill Ruko. That one really like, exploitative. To to give way too much knowledge away that I just should not have. Isn't BL the one that's like good and Yayoi the one that's bad? Exploitative. Yayoi, to my understanding, which is very little, admittedly, is usually very young looking individuals that is almost certainly illegal whereas boys love is just like gay relationships this is my understanding but that is just a very basal like mm. Went for a G1 Rathian hunt yesterday with a decent Thunderlight Bogun set. You prepped way past. Shit took you 45 minutes. Why did it take you so long, Ayn? What the fuck? Was that in for you? They might be interchangeable. 25, 42. There you go, see? Easy peasy. It took you 45 minutes in for... What happened? Were you shooting the wall? <laughs> what was going on? Man? That was creepy, yeah. It was. You always want to try heavy bow gun. The aiming feels janky and monster on it, yeah. I, I feel that. So carved four different things. Was the magic of Grimmy? The magic of being forced to do bidding against your will? <sighs> you took an old box set? Or an old set? And then looked for anything with thunder? Oh, right. Yeah, that can go poorly. I think I needed scales, not shells. So I don't know if I can even build an upgrade. Whoops, don't close that. I need that open. I want to go to this. And then this. Another crab's treasure. 
add to my wish list. It's a Sega sale. Rajangas next, you're scared. Uh, of all the people who would say this normally, Sagando, it would not normally be me. You'll be fine. Rajang in G rank compared to a lot of other stuff is a, is a baby. You know what? I'm willing to buy one more scale. Well, I have to fight Hyunji anyway. Okay, continuing with Milus. Crimson Fatalis is the next one. And is probably going to be the last monster that I do. Before I start making progression again. said this before everything from now to january is a filler episode <laughs> two extra upgrades it was two yeah thank you imagine mace imagine a world in which you had not dearly dallied for so long that it ended up in third and instead was in second. You couldn't have beat Krimi, that was an unreasonable ask. But imagine if you were in second. You wouldn't be shut behind to the entirety of Monster to Rise and Sunbreak. <laughs> Thank you, Krimi. Krimi work, cucked you? Oh my. Ramhard is what got you pondering, though, yeah. I mean, there's seven in the list now, right? Six without you being involved. What the seven games? Obviously, Grim Dawn. Monster Hunter Rise and Sunbreak, with the goal being to beat Primordial Malzino. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 3, with the goal being to complete the story. Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. To complete the story. Grand Blue Fantasy Reeling. To complete the story and beat an individual named Lucius. In the final vision. Trackmania 2020. Which is to get the best possible the, 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 the best possible medals I can in the currently running campaign. And then if I have a lot of fun with it to maybe move on to some of the older campaigns as well. Then another crab's treasure from you, Rampart. And then there is two additional ones, which are question marks as well. There will be two more, at least, on that list. Maybe three more. If we reach the, the extended points goal that I thought would never happen. So 
some solid games. Yeah. Yeah, there is good games. Is it possible to make me unlock all the classes? They're essentially all on the way. You don't want to skip them. Okay, do all the hero quests. I mean, I'll probably do them anyway, mate. I will warn you, though, I'm probably never going to switch off the character I'm playing. You do know that, right? Unless the game forces me onto a different character for story reasons. I'm probably just playing the protagonist. I'm fine if it switches me for story-based reasons, but... Of my own volition, I will play the guy I'm playing. Eighty thunder shots, two hundred and fifty normal twos. Holy shit! Oh, you built like every sword and shield, right, Krimi? Is is Crimson Sword and Shield eventually good? Because at least in its initial state, it seems kind of dog shit. It's not? Okay. <laughs> Shantientes, though. Yeah, I just hoped that Crimson's would be good. Because Crimmies is... Crimmy... <laughs> Dude, I'm going to have a fucking aneurysm before this month ends. Crimson is the one that I can beat consistently to farm for Valor Stones and the like. It's got some great weapons, but not Sword of Shield. And the Dual Blade's good, if he has any. Do you happen to know? You will have a class you don't like on that character at some point. Can double check, thank you. <laughs> Not a bad set, it was you who performed badly. The Jewel Blades aren't good. Fuck. Oh, you did it with a low rank. Did you kill a G rank Raffian? Fine. G1? Yeah, you did amazing. Good shit, man. You gonna try and join for the uh, for you multiplayer tomorrow and next week? What's the two weapons that I really want to play? Both of them are bad. Naturally, this is not gonna get the freeze, but it's the damage that I care about anyway. Oh, it's KO regardless. It doesn't even KO him. You you mentioned it in here, Kirby, yeah. I had to ask again, and it's monster hunter, but Megs. You play Megs instead of monsters. You're excited, yeah. It's good stuff. A 
advice on who to play is just whoever has the most interesting class, yeah. I mean, I might switch around, I don't know. It's just not the way I like to play stuff, really. <laughs> A fraction of walking around. <laughs> Uh, fantastic. Most of the reason you didn't like to play for you as much, even while your sets were just in a disaster. <laughs> That's amazing, Kimmy. I mean, I'm not gonna fight the blue enemies the whole time. I'm just gonna do it at the start when I enjoy it. When it becomes tedious, I'll stop. You lost that overview of your sets and then upgrade your item sets into G. Ah, I see. Just the same mine's every I play. I mean, if I can just switch the protagonist class, then. That seems fine. Everyone uses every class. Yeah, you just pick the, the characters you like, essentially, then. That means I can get rid of meat go. No, fuck. <laughs> Maybe because you don't get to fight Tiger Tribe, etc. Yeah. Go fix your stuff. What's the path he goes? Yeah. More lines of dialogue. No, that's the reason why I'm fighting this monster, Ramhard. Out of all the conquests, Crimson Fatalis seems the less, least bullshit. And like, it's actually a proper fight. Tiger Strike with the rusted weapons? Dude, that was so miserable. 
It was fun, but it was also miserable. The fucking disconnects like half an hour into a quest. Anything that is bad about him is when he removes your cool drink. That's some horseshit. Especially when he decides to spam it. It's really irritating. I don't do not understand the point of this attack where he climbs up the wall. This just wastes so much time. Get the very max upgraded one item slot to the left. <laughs> oh, I can't get the head cuffs. That's really unfortunate. I at least it's really easy to fix the set. I mean, I'm not going to get all the carbs here anyway. saying too much, face. Contain a monster? You told me it already? I forgot it. Two yellows. Two yellows. You fuckers. Absolute bastards. <sighs> did I ever try Dauntless? Yes, I did. I played the game when it was in its... Um, in its beta, even before it had released and I loved it. I had a ton of fun with it. I didn't play it for a very long time because I think like either another Monster Hunter came out or something like that happened and it distracted me. I really, really enjoyed it. And then I played it, I think either last year or the year before on stream. It's not even the same game anymore. It's so much worse now. And I'm really, really upset. Because it was so fun. I, I loved it. I loved it so much. That big of a change, yeah. Right, 
Higgy from Krimi. I, I, like, the combat feels different in the game. The lobbies are just open now. Like, you can't just go on a private quest, from what I can tell. Not without some weird shit going on, but, like, the lobbies are just open all the time, so people can just join your quests. So they can just pop in. With way better equipment. And they've just changed the way the weapon upgrades work and the way the armor works and yeah. It's not even quests, it's just open zones. Oh true, yeah, you don't even go on quests anymore. The fight was piss easy, yep. How was he G6? I don't know. To continue your Zeta Blade 2 while you wait for Zeta Blade 3. It's a good idea. I, I, I don't want to be overly like mean to the people who made that game because I'm sure they just made it in the end in whatever vision they had. It's just not something that I wanted to play. But the Dauntless that I played in Early Access was a contender with Monster Hunter. The Dauntless I played last year, the year, year before, I can't remember, was free to play trash. Like that's, it's obviously incredibly mean to say, I'm sorry to the developers of the game, but that's the difference. We're looking for another game to stretch the itch. Looks interesting. You can give it a go. Like, just because it's not my thing, you might enjoy it, but... Tokiden's there, God Eater there's, Wild Hearts is there. Even though that one got kind of shot in the fucking head, I still think it's really good. Just play in Japanese with subtitles, do not play in English. You're out of G money again. <laughs> it's an issue. It's a good day. I think there was a quest that you could do that gives you a ton of money. Because I had that problem, I can't remember. One of the G event quests just gives you like fuck loads of money. Wild Hearts is such a hard game. Wild Hearts is a really difficult game. Wild Hearts is much more in the style of, like, old Monster Hunter in terms of difficulty, I think. Where, like, it just doesn't give a fuck about you. Essentially 75% of the reason you don't like play it is because you can't separate it, yeah. Aww. Honestly, just thinking about the streams where I played that game, fill me with rage. They fill me with rage. Every single fucking chatter. How's what's done a fortnight? Oh. <laughs> Fucking 20 times a day. They're not wrong. They are wrong. It's so fucking reductive. It's a fantastic game.
completely stands on its own merit. It was a fantastic game. It is a fantastic game, regardless of how EA shut it down. I still think it's a great game. What I meant, Dauntless? No, Dauntless is free to play trash. Wild Hearts. Dauntless was a fantastic game. So even though I thought it was much of the 20 people who think they're making a ha ha funny for the first time, yeah, exactly. To play it on a stream again at some point. I've wanted to quite a few times. Dauntless is Monster Hunter Fortnite. Dauntless doesn't even deserve to be called compared to Monster Hunter. Sorry about the confusion, that's okay. <laughs> Did I love Wild Hearts so much? I'm so sad what they did to it. I'm really so sad what they did to it. I really, really hope that whoever worked on that game can get a job at a different company and make a similar game. Or that Ubisoft or EA, whoever owns the right... Is it Ubisoft? No, it's EA, right? It's EA play. The EA just, like, burns to the ground. <laughs> as a company. Not literally. So that the rights to it can be given to someone else who would actually give a shit. Games are legitimate Monster Hunter competitor. A little bit more on the hardcore side. A little bit more for the hardcore audience. I did hear, thankfully. But there's Dauntless. There was Dauntless. Not anymore. Freedom was exactly, yeah, Kirby. <laughs> this one looks like Tigress with fur. Kyoji? Yeah, everyone says something wildly different about this monster. Syrigios, Nagigante, Tigrex. Hearts are like monster hunter monsters with a warrior style fire character and building. Dude, the I cannot remember what it's called, but the system where you build stuff in that game is so good. They actually used it so well. Like, it became instinctual to me to use the spring to re-engage into combat anytime I ran away to heal. Purely instinctual. And I love that so much. <laughs> yeah, Kobe. <Kirby. laughs> We talking the Monster Hunter Fortnite? No, we're talking about Wild Hearts.
Hey, Gust hunts are going very good, actually. Almost exclusively very good. I don't think I failed one, actually. Have I failed one? I don't think I have. How are you? Hey, derelicts. Welcome. Had my best Ruko today? I did, yeah. Got some weapon upgrades as well. You still, you can still build in Fortnite. There's just a mode where there's no building now, right? There's a no building mode, but... I think the primary play mode is still... Got... Towers in it. To be fair, Fortnite feels less shooty, more buildy. <laughs> To be honest, like default Fortnite, from my very limited understanding of it, it's not even a shooter. You played before the gun weapon release, but you didn't invest into it. Into Dauntless, Freddo. That's when the game was good, before the gun came out. The gun itself was still good at that point, it's just after that it started to go downhill. You remember the game was something about tower defense crafting or something like that? What, uh, Fortnite? It's, it's meant to be a battle royale similar to PUBG. But you can build structures as well. Like the guns still encourage you to stay close. Yes. Yes. The guns were well made. I did not enjoy them. But the guns were well made. Want to play without building? Have fun. Want to build? Have fun playing with 12 year olds who do nothing but cranking those 90s. Is it always meant to be a battle royale? Apparently not. Apparently not. was killed off. Damn. Was good and the folly. <laughs> In one package. That's such a good sentence, by the way. It was good and also the game's folly. Linguistically well done for base. Well, I didn't get the Hiji horn, but I'm going to try this. Cool. Another Black Spectrum gem. Thankfully, I've already managed to get, get it somehow. After they specifically said it. Oh, that's shitty. To be fair, I don't, I'm not surprised. That is shitty, but I'm not surprised. Dude, I'm getting up here. Now. Who cares, honestly? The people who played Fortnite to <laughs> save the world and really liked it? <laughs> they care. <laughs> they probably care a lot.
People have lost their favourite game. Okay, let me close all of these monster weaknesses. I don't need them open anymore. I'm just going to check, because I didn't check last time that Gormagala is in fact weak to fire. Slaughtered. Yeah, exactly. It's really poopy. I was so close to killing this before. I mean, it seems like one of those things when it explodes that match rate and does that well, you can completely understand them wanting to develop the thing that's making them shitloads of money. But also, that seems like the perfect time to be like, hey, we'll keep some people on the old project and then grab a whole bunch of like new people, a brand new team. To work on the thing that's actually waking us money. It used to be good because it gave you V-Bucks, but it doesn't do that anymore. Wow. Do a dead dragon stick and diversify? Exactly, yeah. Sure, Jagex has plenty of their own skeletons in the closet. But hey. Find a developer that doesn't. Yeah, so for you, multi will be G rank, of course. All is well, good. Change rooms give so much a large percentage of them wanted to revert. Boot up a save copy from two hours and seven and just start going, yeah. I've, I've played both of them and I have to say that old school is um, by far and away more an enjoyable for me, experience for me, personally.
Old school social vibe, you love our trailer, can be. You want a story, you play RuneScape 3? Ah, that's a good idea. Yeah, I was always kind of there just to fuck around and do my own thing, so... For me, the older one's better. Oh, OSRS is an elitism problem? Yeah. Thankfully, that problem is completely ignored if you never interact with anyone. Which, as it turns out, is my specialty. <laughs> Any game when it goes on long enough gets one, yeah. The problem tends to be when it becomes what feels like the majority, not the minority. Right? The problem with those games as well is that people like actively promote incredibly unhealthy behavior. Like it's just a perfectly normal thing. Is there any known fact that influences how frequently a monster switches loads? Both generally and specifically rise. Time, I think. And if it's injured? I don't know. But that would be my assumption. Time, if it's injured and if it needs to be exhausted. Oh, enraged, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Switch if it's enraged or exhausted, or switch if it stays enraged or exhausted too long. I think when they leave rage, they usually tend to want to leave area. And then when it's exhausted, it won't want to leave because it won't want to move. However, it will potentially also want to go and eat. There is a skill to facilitate them. Yep. There's multiple skills. In fact. So pretty. We'll go here. I don't know if I'm a massive fan. To be honest.
normally love go I normally love Gore's eclipse state. I don't like the color change. one of the things you love about it the most. I like the wings. And the wings having the pink in them. But I don't like the the base design color being changed from purple to pink. What feels like almost needlessly. Because they can clearly make the purple color because it's in the wings. But the like extra bits on it, uh, those are cool. No problem with those at all. The wings look gorgeous. And I really like the... But like a mega horns, <laughs> I guess. I like the idea to have like extra armor and for the armor to be visually different on the skin in this in this specific phase. I just don't get why the, the purple had to change. It was such a gorgeous shade of purple. Not to say this isn't a nice shade of pink, but It kind of loses that, like, iconic corruption look that it had. With the Frenzy Virus. partial to a night pink and purple meld. Yeah, that's fair. I think they could have done it really gorgeously with the wings. And they do it really good with the wings. With like the OG shade of purple. And then the pink on the main body design. I'd be so much happier if it was just flipped. <laughs> Basically. But yeah, personal preference is a bitch, right? Basically in that regard. Gore flinches so much with the fire thing. Whenever I need to upgrade my Ruko sword again, it's more huge. I didn't get the horn I needed. broken, feelers are broken, forearms are not broken, tail is still on.
Wait, do I need Gucci stuff? Yeah, no, I do. Fuck. I forgot I'm in front of it. The roll doesn't work the same way when you're in front of it. I narrowly avoid death. Take it a while. And it did last time. It took 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes last time before I got all the parts broken. And then I died. Terrible roll. Thankfully, it didn't matter. doing a lot better damage this time though and this weapon is more upgraded this time also should help significantly Um, exotic skill. Do you recall there was a skill in world that affected explosive damage that helped with the boomstick stack? You can't find it anywhere. Artillery? Normal artillery, not heavy artillery, just artillery. I'm near the head! God, I forget every time. He's got a fucking zenith roar. That's the one? Oh. It's definitely in Rise. Uh, I can't think of a monster in some, though. Gore's exotic is focus. Right. So good for... Great source. Then. Think for Serios, right Maybe to Tranodon. And Hammer. Oh, true Hammer. I just did the swankiest fucking dodge by accident there, by the way. <laughs> I don't even know how I did it, but it was amazing. <laughs> Gold Raffian down was easy. Yep. Gold Raffian and Silver Loss are way easier than the rest of the shit in that tier. Those ones, I do understand why they're there, though. Focus is also good for Funfa. Oh, yeah, they do have a charge attack, don't they? I'm dead. I didn't die? Oh, okay, there we go.
Final life died twice, got 10 megas, I've got a max potion left, Gormagala is in the ground. It's a great start. Of course it's on Basil's armor, yeah, I mean it makes sense. It's not in world, I don't think, weirdly. I think blast attack is. And guts, right, is a set bonus. Earplugs as well, I think max earplugs. Maybe some guard as well. Basil set's really weird. It won't. It might not have guard. <laughs> I just remember it being a strange kind of set. Friend used it for charge blade for a while. It's full broken now. I only remember guts and airplugs. I remember guts. Well, guts and airplugs are like guaranteed. I think it has blast attack and bombardier as well. Maybe guard. I don't know where I'm getting the guard from. It feels wrong. I think I might be thinking Zora Magdoros. Hit the head. Good. I got away with it. go back to doing this because I want to be sure of my safety. I am correct on all accounts. Really? Guard, Bombardier, Guts, Blast Attack, the Influx? <laughs> what the fuck? Why do I know that? Time to touch grass, apparently, yeah. Stop playing fucking world. Channeling my inner you, yeah. Except yours are useful and mine is like one hyper specific armor set that most people probably aren't even going to build because it has such a weird, eclectic collection of skills on it. Seeming's being great. Easy access to earplugs and good decoration spots. Yeah, I don't know anything about that one. I don't. I honestly have no idea what seeming says other than yeah, earplugs and um, and guts still. That's just basil, basil ambition, whatever it's called. This is my fight to lose at this point. I 
I got this. Just gotta keep doing that for safety. I wanna be safe, 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 safe. It's far more important I make it off this quest than it is that I play perfectly. afford to be a little bit risky with my health at the moment because I am currently defended from the virus did the damage I'll get the flinch Nearly died there. Left him in the head. I really thought that would be enough to knock him out of the state. Yes, good, 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 good. Get away from the head. It seems like only the head is a Zenith Roar, actually, maybe? Might be just that hyper specific zone. Twenty-seven minute quest, man. <gasps> That's a toughie. That's a toughie. That's a win. <laughs> They're both seen if rolls. One has less active, so okay. Sweaty hands. Mark it off on the list. Green. Green. Gold crown. <laughs> Silver crown, sorry, maximum. A silver crown minimum? I don't know what one that was. What was a crown? They're both Zenus, one has less actives. Oh, weird. Maybe I dodged it because my bird hit me then. Or something. Because I didn't dodge it. There's no silver spot. Oh! Oh, it's Ruko or Abio. I could fight Abio, that's fine by me. 
talking about his stuff iframes? Maybe. Let me pop this up. Made a butchery of that. Put this one up again as well. It's gonna go to 11 minutes. Zero, zero. You got a new armor now, Sagando. Oh. Do you have the, uh... The thingy armor? From the... You do. You have the one from the... From the... What's it called? Very cool. Your evasion is not on for some reason. Strong attack plus five. Pretty shit. Immunity is really good. Crit I free is nice. I have no idea what Butcher Get is. Encourage plus two has evasion. Okay. Sharpness Artisan and Stylish Assault. That'd be bad. Fencing. No idea what most of those skills are. <laughs> it's Guts. Right. Guts and Adrenaline. Okay, cool. What's Abby OE to? Nice, thank you, Kirby. You found it before I can even find him in the list. I'm gonna keep the evasive blade decos for fencing plus two, yep. Makes sense. Uh, yeah, you 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 got it before I could even find it. That's what I meant to say. I assumed you had it memorized. <laughs> You are the knower of things, after all. <sighs> yeah, the fencing is definitely worth it. And it still gives you the sharpening as well, right? The, like, sharpening artisan. Having the... Evasive Blade stuff, so... That's nice. Sleepy Huggy, yeah. Not a good sign for tomorrow. When I am sleepy today. Nor a good sign for next week. Did I not sleep well? I did not. It is entirely of my own doing, but I did not sleep well. I have naught to blame but myself. Why are you here? You're very lost, sir. It's a tiny abio. You woke up at 4 a.m. and went on a RuneScape floor rabbit hole. <laughs> I was hungry after the stream yesterday. And I think it might have been you. It might have been someone else, Revan. Someone mentioned a Domino's pizza. And I was hungry after the stream. And I was like, fuck. So I got a Domino's. It 
but eating greasy food so late at night? When you are cursed with acid reflux the way that I am? Does not lead to good sleep. I don't know how to do it, Krimi, because it's a Franka Frank Z thing. I know how to do the better Twitch TV ones, so I don't know how to do the Franka ones. So yeah, my sleep quality was atrocious because um, I was acid refluxing all over the fucking place. <laughs> my desire was too overwhelming. I decided it was worth the trade. I did. I did. I'd do it again. What pizza? Uh... I don't know what it's called. Meat filter? But I switched the base to barbecue sauce instead of tomato sauce. Because tomato sauce is revolting. Not revolting. I just don't find it very tasty. We have such a different view on pizza. What do you mean, Freddy? It would not worth to be worth the. It's not worth the lack of sleep for you, dude. I was so hungry. It was just to sate my hunger more than anything. I was like, I'm hungry. And I got a message from my partner being like, yeah, we can't talk tonight. I talk to my partner every night, right? I couldn't speak to them because they were in a room with their, um, they were traveling. They were in a room with their family. Who were already asleep. So we couldn't talk. I was like, I'm hungry. I can't talk to my partner. Domino's was mentioned earlier. Fuck it. <laughs> I deserve a Domino's. You call it greasy while every piece you've seen a flat rubber tomato biscuit. Sauce that was dry. Have you seen a Domino's pizza, Freddo? It's like, specifically Domino's is greasy as fuck. It's delicious. I love it. It was Domino's? What pizza was it? Was it like specifically like Italian base fucking... Nothing on it. Mellow Mushroom. That's a good name. Just regular pepperoni. I mean, pepperoni isn't that greasy. Greasy food hits different when it's ridiculously late. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bear in mind, the one I'm having, Freddo, is like barbecue base, which is more greasy than tomato base as well. And then it's like four different types of meat. <laughs> it's not just pepperoni, it's like salami, uh, ham, pepperoni, and something else. And it's just like, it's just a shitload of grease, right? Because the grease comes from the meat. 
more than it does the pizza itself. You'll get a little bit of grease with pepperoni, but not much. But when you got like fucking salami on there, salami's pretty greasy as well. Salami they use is greasy anyway. <laughs> Hey, Civilis, how you doing? It, I, gr Honestly, like, one of my most core memories from being a child is not of the holiday itself. It's of going back to and on the way to holidays. And then the, like, three, four o'clock in the morning stop on the drive home when my parents are tired and are just like fuck it we want to eat something and we don't care what we eat like, Kyle what are we getting and I'm just like <laughs> I get to pick <laughs> fucking dodgy ass KFC bargain bucket greasiest shit ever at like three o'clock in the morning Oh, the illegality of it. The illegality. Thank God you're not huge on pizza or cheese. You would get a heart attack eating one of those. I really am not a big fan of cheese. That's why I have to have the barbecue base. Otherwise the cheese is overpowering. Maybe you have pepperoni or salami, you love to cover it with honey. Oh! Salami, fucking pepperoni and honey pizza. Oh! Dude, that shit's unbelievable. What do I need from Abby? I just hide. Am I picky on moist food? Depends on the food, but I'm picky with all food. Every time. <laughs> I don't even know if they're genuine questions or you're just trying to set yourself up. Salami on pizza is ridiculously underrated. Salami in general is underrated. Salami's great. Good meat. Good meat. Why do you ask if I'm picky on moist stuff? Right. Fredo. I said just hide. I mean, I did. I need Abio's hide. I needed one. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Seem to like all greasy food from what you said. And uh, greasy and moist are very different. Greasy and moist are different worlds. Can you come out now? You can come out now. You're safe, Krimi. The Abio is dead. You don't need to hide anymore. Damn it, Kirby! <laughs> no, no. 
I did give them permission. Look, you should never feel the need to come out in this chat channel. Coming out is bullshit. You are who you are. You don't need to own it in that way, right? Like, oh, this bad thing. Whatever. Well, sexuality is irrelevant to the person that you are. Hopefully, anyway, it shouldn't consume you. The hot new tea? That tea? Certainly not new, anyway. Spill the beans, but they're in the cupboard. To do a cribby. Such a waste of food. I. Cool beans? I mean, they're in the cupboard, so yeah, they're not wrong. Actually, they're probably quite warm at the moment. Although, to be fair, the beans probably do not suffer from humidity, as I do. Oh, you fucker, you hit me. I did not think you would reach. One day I will kill this Nogakuga. Will that day be today? Bean garden? No, they're baked beans. Significantly less interesting story. What's the moral meant to be of Drak and the Beanstalk? Doesn't he fucking kill him? Or something. <laughs> that might not be in the child version. That might be in the original Grimm's version. Murder is okay on the way to capital games. <laughs> Grim brothers approved. He does kill him, right? He kills the, the giant. He breaks into his home and then kills him. Giant dies from falling off the stalk? Yeah. Which makes Jack liable for manslaughter? I'm fucking dead. <laughs> Kyle's beanstalk? What are you referring to?
The giant is called Gog my Gog? Surely not. Should I just jump in and out of monster range constantly? Hmm? There's a big shield or evade focus you want to stay your ground. Ideally, I would like to stay my ground with evade focus, but I do not know the fight very well, Freddo. If I knew the fight better, I would stick my ground and just evade through attacks. But I don't know Nagakuga well enough. If I had a shield, it'd be easy because I just press block button. But Nagakuga's very different in Frontier to... To mainline. That's the one that killed me before. Now I know what it looks like. Sort of. Also, because it's Frontier, there's some attacks that I just don't want to fuck with. That one where he does the like little triple tail hit. If I get hit by that, I'm dead. So I'd rather just not be involved. <laughs> not the idea that I'm not confident slipped your mind. <laughs> if this was a normal monster at Anagakuga, I would be on him. This guy? This guy scares me. With this sort of shit. Because that's a juggle. If that first bit hits you, you get juggled for the second bit and you die. Even through Guts. Because he does enough damage with the first hit that Guts won't save me from the second.
yeah, now there's no dragon this game. Dragon Quest 10. If you examine a monster that's significantly above your level, it's probably best not to mess with it. <laughs> your friends start going get a mess with it. <laughs> the correct thing to do. You still having a lot of fun with that? I thought that back jump was really good. Really? Oh man. He was playing last night with other English speakers. Oh, that's hard, quite hard to do, you said before, right? Wait. Nope, dead. That's the issue. There's a whole Discord community for it with an in-game plan. Nice. That's good. Easier to hook up with people you can converse with. It's so funny how little I actually heal in this Naga fight. So much of it is just like, oh, I died. <laughs> Rather than I took damage. Break. Point blank. Great. No. Committed to the wrong bit of the attacks. Roll immediately. Good. Dude, this Naga is so fucking difficult. You gonna stay in free or are you gonna keep going? You're gonna keep going. It means either to seven or to five, probably. Sounds like it's flying over this. Which means probably five. Yeah, that is a problem with with gun lance, Freddo. Shit. 
shell type add a shell level. I mean, the augment's not relevant for progression, though, right? Because the augment doesn't happen until post-game anyway. Please! Nice, sir! Because I believe Fredo is even playing, Rose. Memory serves. No, I'm dead. That's the quest. Ugh. <laughs> That's doing so well. I don't know what I meant to do about him, man. That's so hard to win when he's got two insta kills. That's so hard to win. Oh, and Naga Cougar is going to be one of the hardest. Tsunoga is not going to be easier. I assume it's still ice creamy. Thank you. Welcome back, base. To the segment where I die a lot. Right, I'm gonna quickly go run to the loop. Be right back, just a moment. Hello, Human Harvest. How you doing? Chair stream? Wasn't even a chair stream? Wow. You think those two people who departed were cheating? Well, unfortunately they're departed now, that's a shame. Did they have sets on they shouldn't have had for the colour of their rank? your train. Nice. Uh, 
They were in HR5, but they had Zed weapons and... Was this all when you were talking about? I think that's post-game stuff, Freddo. One hour so you can go back to set building. The pre-Zenith set. Can't buy Picara on hides? No. You just have to get those. Or bypass them with the B craft. It's, it's breaking the back. I'm dead. Cool, another one shot. It's the back part breaks so together. of this game. Not gonna lie. I mean, there's always a connection to the server, but there's not an anti-cheat mace. And there's always way around things. just has a one-shot combo that he does on his most common combo. That's so bullshit, man. Literally, his attack that he does all the time as a one-shot combo. What on earth is that? I literally cannot get more armor than this, Ramhard. I can get like 200 more armor and that's it. And it's not gonna make a fucking difference. Problem is, I have 2,000 armor because of the way Frontier works. I actually have 900 armor. Skills. Yeah, but none of them are defensive, so it doesn't help. The shit annulled 1,100 armor points. It, it annuls 10,000 and... 1,050. Dark Souls is for the second part of the stream. Replaced by Pokemon when it's finished. Literally half my defense stats just gone, yeah. Yep.
I still want to change it to Wild Hearts. It's already locked to Pokemon. I did it earlier. Why not just lower the armor ratings then? Dude, I don't know. Why not just make it so the monsters do more attack? I'm sure there's a reason. It's functionally irrelevant. If it's the, it's just the same all around, right? So it doesn't matter. If functionally it has the same result, it doesn't matter how they do it. This feels worse than if the monsters just had more attack. Because it makes it feel like the armor you worked for just doesn't exist anymore. But hey. But it doesn't always do it. At any point, Zanoga's main free hit combo can become an insta kill attack. Okay, so when he's like supercharged, he can do it after the first one, on the second bit, seemingly. He doesn't have to wait for the third hit. This freeze is lasting a long time. I think he did that before, I just don't remember it. Nope, dead. That was a fucking joke of a fight. I died before I even did anything. Jesus Christ. That was terrible. Absolutely terrible by me. The only way I can ever see myself winning against any of these is just full on smash my head against one singular wall and learn it till it breaks. I just don't see another way. Supremacy TO, yeah, basically. Of 
when we try to kill anything in <laughs> Legend Rank. <laughs> by doing no the difference is not learning by doing human harvest it's um smashing my fucking head into the wall until i break or it not learning by doing naga kuga i can learn that fight as much as i want if i just get unlucky and the one shot hits me it's over right If he decides to spam the one-shot attacks a lot, I'm, I'm just fucked. Like, I can't do anything. Zenoga I can learn. That seemed relatively reasonable. But the one with Naga jumping, I just don't, don't see a way around that at all. Gonna do so stupid instead. It's my specialty. I thought Uragan would be the one you do first, right? Well, Uragan was really easy because he didn't like do anything ridiculous that just broke through guts that wasn't blatantly apparent. Like, he does the Saki attack, but it's also, like, really obvious that he's doing the Saki attack, right? <laughs> yeah, I said we were doing so stupid. Feeling masochistic? No, I'm trying to escape. He's my escape. I have to beat him. If I beat him, I have a way out. That being, it gives you Zenith tickets. the easiest source with the way that i set up the my logic of making my way through the right the game is the only source Immediately for the next attempt, toggle SR to ice resistance. So I don't get ice blight. What are the tickets for? You need them to do the quests. How much percentage reduction does my missions give? Uh, I think when you complete all of them, 10%. I think I have 6%. We'll see him loads. As soon as I've killed him once, I can buy the tickets. You can technically already buy the tickets, but by with, with the rules that I've set for myself, I have to earn them at least one time before I can just buy them. 
Because otherwise, what's the fucking point? <laughs> you could just go into Zenith the second you got into G, otherwise. I wonder if it's worth dropping all resist to this. It might be worth dropping all resist. That sounds hilarious and like a horrid idea. Aerial combo. Don't go for the tail, he's got a one shot on the tail. Ignore the tail, switch to fire and ice Essa. Or if ice does not seem to give me enough, then switch to ice and all. This guy seems a lot less erratic than Naga and Sonoga. That's because he's not enraged yet. When he does the slam, it is not an opening. Just to beat this guy, it'll be so much nicer to fight the other guys because I won't feel trapped. By the rank. Fuck yeah. I'm assuming I want to be hitting him on the fire side of the body because I'm using an ice element weapon. And roughly based on how the hit zones looks, that would be my assumption with why his weakness is a half fire, half ice. Get back so it doesn't hit me. That's fine at this distance. It's not opening anyway. Thankfully, if you get hit by that, you don't get hit by the follow-up as long as you're not in a bad spot. That's freebie damage. I'm dead. No. 
It's just the tail. So far, it's just the tail. He's still not enraged. <laughs> Here, we were transcendent, it's been in the fight for five minutes. He still hasn't fucking enraged. <laughs> oh, dude, I suck. <laughs> Assuming you're a cutie patootie. You're cr incorrect. I have fear incarnate. Be afraid of me. Am I using a low rank weapon? <laughs> he doesn't enrage, he phase trash. Oh, goody. Where's the total armor and then hit point of this guy? Sounds like an absurd amount of hit points. Uh, he has 30,000 health, but he takes 20% damage. So his effective hit points is 150,000. You have a Muso version? It's a million, yes. 30,000 hit points with a defense rate of 0 0.03. Just give the guy 100,000 health from the start. It, there's... There's shit that's just not as simple as that. I think Mace is the issue. Bearing in mind this is a game that's built on an engine from like 2008 that they would have been updating as they went along, but like there's only so much you can do, you know? You're not talking about a modern day engine. You're talking about monsters that are fucking DOS. <laughs> That's been dragged along to work for stuff in, as it goes along. Like, it's not as easy as just, well, fix it. It's got a million health and you got 10 minutes to find it. Yeah, I will never kill a Muso. In my life. It's just never gonna happen. I'm not good enough. That's some perfect play shit. I can't play perfectly in world. Ha, <laughs> it's shutting down. You don't get to kill me, you fucker! <laughs> get to just enjoy the music for a moment. It's Friday, it is Friday. I missed a beat for Talus with only Pookie gear. Doesn't mean it was flawless, Rampard, by any stretch. I did it, sure, but it was not flawless.
It was not flawless. <laughs> Frontier isn't allowed on Fridays, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the way the hit zones work here, by the way, look, these bits down here. Hello, please. Did that not zoom in? It did zoom in. It's every other part. So presumably horns are weak to ice and fire equally. And then, like, left claw, right claw. Don't know what this would be. Left rear, right rear. Tail, tail. Maybe. Oh, no, tail's equivalent to both as well. Tail's weak to both equally. We got one, two, three, four, five of them. That's a bit awkward. This might be the back. Maybe. Don't know. It's weird. You'll go with raw? Yeah, I don't really want to raw sword and shield my way through a fight, you know? It's head, torso, claw, 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 tail. Head, torso, floor, 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 floor. Okay. I am very confused then. Oh no, that makes sense. It does make sense. The rear claws take less damage. The the raw claw the rear claws take a lot less damage. Okie dokie. I feel like I want to just keep trying him. I feel I feel like that's what I, my my freedom is here. Cuz it's not even necessarily about beating him and then being able to beat to Zenith as well. It's just if I can beat him, I have an out of the rank. If it ever becomes too much, I can escape. Which allows me to feel less stressed when I'm fighting the shit out of stuff, you know? It doesn't matter if I can't beat Naga Cougar after I try and do him five times in a row. I'm not trapped here. It doesn't matter. It will be okay. The Pac-Man. <laughs> yeah, Pac-Man. And I do think that this weapon is better than my fire weapon. I think this is the first time I've ever been so quick to get back on. Right, change my caravan skills. Not my caravan skills, my SR settings for sword and shield. I want ice resistance and fire resistance. Where does that put me? It gives me not enough ice, so I'm going to have to all element instead. 
I have made a Tom for in a swag scrimmy yet. They're hiding. Back here. Okay, so instead of fire, I have to all resistance. All of my GSRs are available. Looks like it to me. Switch Axe, Tonfer, and Magnet Spike are all in here. Oh, I'm locked to Sword and Shield. I am, essentially. Locked to Sword and Shield, yeah. Just double check on my personal status. I have 33 ice, which means I will not get ice blight. Ice blitten. <laughs> I nearly just said. What do I need to level this? That's a big level. Huh? Am I seeing that wrong? I get a master, <laughs> get that much purple on the level up? <laughs> what? Well, I think now it's incredibly clear which one is better. I'm not going to be able to do element a lot of the time anyway, so 70 more raw damage is a freebie. And it's got a shitload of purple instead of a shitload of white. It's just better. Just better. He leaves the chat. <laughs> Good old Gordon. Can I search this menu? No, I cannot. I look for things. I want something that has. Strong attack. Which is probably more likely going to be this way. Charge attacks, not it.
I don't know how these work. If they just go off the weapon itself, or if they add to your, like, normal stuff. I never understood that. To be honest. You did mention ground tour ending, yep. But I mean attack? Is it just attack that I need? It's not skill points, right, okay. Then it would be whatever's best for sword and shield, specifically. And I have no idea what that would be. That I have. Elemental could be really nice. But... What did this have? There was one over here that was just really good. Affinity and element. Elder Dragon and Attack. Fuck it. What the fuck is this? These, these are sigils. You got sleeping and attack? I mean, that's not really helpful, but sure. Wait, it takes up one slot? You can brand multiple things? Holy shit. I have gone blind. I cannot see Miru. It's because I'm in the wrong list. Can I buy hidden stamps from the road shop? I'll have a look in a minute. Sigils enhance our weapons lots of things by the looks of things. They do a lot. This is a just affinity six, sure. Did I not make two of them? Or is that not what it meant? It did. The second one was... Trash? <laughs> I don't know. Sure. Affinity. Why not? And then sure. Why not? Is 
Is it literally like straight plus four raw attack? Is it that like minute of an upgrade? Yes. Okay. Well, it's something, I guess. <laughs> it's something. You got a glimpse of Tuesday? Yeah, it, it, it gives you buffs on Tuesday. Frontier is a weird game. I don't know what the Elder Dragon one does, but maybe it helps. Deal infinitely more damage and take infinitely less from Elder Dragons. So he should not be able to cold blight me this time. Ice blights. As it is also known. Stay away from that. That's the one shot. Go for this attempt. Get him to the phase transition. That's it. That's the only point. That's the purpose. This is fine. I'm not in... Oh, wait, I am in damage range. Don't mind. Shouldn't be all the way out here, though. Music for this fight is really nice. That stomp is so quick. Dead. <sighs> I can't be near the tail, but it's also the only place I feel some semblance of safe. Of a tone version of Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Don't be afraid of the tail. I'm incredibly afraid of the tail. I do not have the consistency to dodge attacks like that. Even if I'd done this fight a hundred times, it would still kill me. At least once every time.
If I can cut, if 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 it stops when I can cut the if I cut the tail off, that would be immense. I got that one already. That one, that one's doable. That got me? Fuck. if Trevor hurts so bad. Reckon it's me tastes like. Do you reckon you get me in the middle of it? It's like absolutely perfect. What? I turned the fire off. Yo, if you can actually turn his sides off, that's an amazing mechanic. Temporary, yeah, 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 even if it's just temporarily, that's so cool. Please tell me there's a fire and ice element weapon. No, it's back. That's so cool. Disu or else, else, yeah, his own weapon. The best weapon to kill him is his own weapon. How amusing. The only thing I'm weak to is me. <laughs> uh. And Desu, but we don't talk about that guy. You don't rank the meat would be frozen, you wouldn't be able to move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like jerky would maybe be like good though. Jerky like would maybe be a good description. I've already died twice. Okay. I don't even remember the first step. This attempt's not looking great to get to the old phase transition, eh? You need it? El Zele on jerky. One million zenny per strip. Like Dungeon Mercy, yeah. <laughs> okay, like it's it's. Spoilers, but I'm not going to find out for such a long time that I don't mind. If you turn off both of the sides at the same point, does something special happen? I don't want to know what the special thing is, just does something special happen? No? Ah, That's a shame. 
That'd be really cool if it gave you like a super down or something. I'm getting pretty good at dodging it, yeah. I mean, I'll get to the point where I can dodge it like 90% of the time. The problem is the 10% of the time is death, right? That's, that's my, my concern. When I say my consistency isn't good enough, it's not that I don't have good consistency. It's that it's a one shot when I fail. If he does the tail attack 30 times the quest, I lose the quest, right? I thought about it, thought about it loads of times. And then I realized I have no idea how it works and I just stopped thinking about it. <laughs> Cause just thinking about the diva overwhelms me. like a whole special system to it and it's got its own story and it's got all these different mechanics and stuff and I'm like you know what it could wait and then it's been waiting for all of G-Rank <laughs> Dude, this isn't even the actual fucking fight. Come on! Sort your shit! That's the one time. That's what I mean. Doesn't matter if I dodge it nine when the tenth kills me. <sighs> he didn't phase. He probably wasn't even close. Objective fail? Yup. <laughs> yup.
That honestly feels infinitely more manageable than fucking Nagakuga does. That feels so much more manageable than Nagakuga, it's unreal. The phase transition probably won't, but that's uh, that's a problem at a later point. Wait, when I upgrade it again, does it lose its sharpness? Well, that's that's sucky. That's sucky. That's such a long fight. You. Yep. <laughs> yep. I mean, my set could be better, but like, it's just gonna be so much farming, man. What could I even get that makes my set better? More strong attack. Um. Sharpness doesn't technically increase my attack. Really? Because Stylish is probably going to keep me at max sharpness for that whole fight anyway. So, uh, Razor Sharp isn't going to do anything. So like, Stylish Salt, maybe? And then combo skills that I don't understand what they are. Vigorous or Ceaseless. Yeah, whatever those are. I mean, adrenaline won't help me, right? Because you have to be too low health to use it. I guess, like, tons of crit and Eason. I just don't think it'd be farming an entire another armor set. Because that seems painful. I'd have to even make the fucking armor set in the first place, and that's a nightmare. Well, that's a problem for tomorrow morning. For now, I will be switching over to Dark Souls 2 after my brief little break here. So if you want to see El Zelion death, not the creature, mine, that will happen tomorrow morning at this point. Oh, my keyboard's not working. You can see when that will be on that little linky link there. Otherwise, I'm going to take a quick 10, 15-ish minute break. And then I will be back, hopefully finishing Dark Souls 2. I'll see you in just a second.